Okay, here we're going to look at some basic examples of the ratio test. And for the ratio test, it says if you have some formula, you know, a sub n, that, that, that describes the terms of your series. It says we look at the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n. Recall, if this is less than 1, the series converges, uh, absolutely. If it's greater than 1, it diverges. And if it equals 1, it's inconclusive. So here we're going to use the ratio test in part a to decide if the series 2 to the n over n factorial from n equals 1 to infinity, whether or not that converges. So everywhere there's an n, uh, we're going to plug in our, we'll plug in the n plus 1. So here we'll have 2 to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial. And then we're going to divide that by the original, so 2 to the n over n factorial. All right, well, this is the limit as n goes to infinity of 2 to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial times n factorial over 2 to the n. Well, let's see, we can simplify this. We've got 2 to the n plus 1 over 2 to the n. That's going to leave us with a 2 to the first in the numerator. And then um, n factorial over n plus 1 factorial. Um, how does that simplify? Well, we're going to use this trick a lot, so maybe let's talk about it at least uh, once here. So, you know, for example, just at random, say we had 6 factorial. Well, that's 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. We could write it as 6 times, you know, uh, we'll take 1 away from 6. Hey, that would give us 5. And then we'll take 2 away from 6. Hey, that would give us 4. And then I'm going to start putting kind of a, a few arbitrary dots. Assuming this number is large enough, eventually, you know, you're going to get every number in between. And then at the end, we'll end up being, we'll always multiply by 3 times 2 times 1, you know, kind of the tail end of the sequence. Um, so n factorial, I'm going to write that as n. You would just get the very first number. Then we would take 1 away from that. Then we would take 2 away from that. And then eventually, you know, assuming n's a big number, eventually we'll get down to 3 times 2 times 1. The same thing in the denominator. If we expand n plus 1 factorial, we'll get n plus 1. But then if we take 1 away from that, we'll be left with n. And then if we take 1 away from that, we'll have n minus 1, n minus 2. Again, eventually we'll get down to 3 times 2 times 1. So notice everything is going to cancel out except for the n plus 1 in the denominator. So in this case, we've got the limit as n goes to infinity of 2 over n plus 1. Well, as n goes to infinity, the denominator is going to get large. 2 over a large number is 0. Um, the limit of that is 0. And since that number is less than 1, that would tell us that our series is absolutely convergent. In particular, it is also just convergent. So part A, we've got a, a nice example here of a convergent series. And uh, almost any time I see factorials and a series and they want me to decide if it converges or diverges, I almost always just jump immediately to the ratio test. Very useful little test.